stopping by my channel this is simply kiwi if you're new to the channel please go ahead and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to receive notifications when I upload a new video I am going to test today these new magnets that I've got from eBay and I wanted to check them out and see how well they work and at the end of the video I will show you some swatch photos close up and let you see how it looks but um, I wanted to try them out and I'm going to go over the items that I'm using today one of the items that I'm using is um, for my base I'm using the Beauty Secrets Rich Filler the next item I am using as my base coat of base color is Magnetics and it is called Bontastic. This is a magnetic polish. Okay. And the next item that I'm using is this magnetic polish, also from China Glaze. And it is called Positively in Love. The next um, item I'll also be using is from Revlon and it's a glitter polish and it's called Scandalous so what I've already done um, is oh I forgot to tell you I'm also using wet and wild top coat clear top coat and to seal it everything off with a quick drying top coat will be sesh feet All right, so what I'm going to do, I do have these nails here, as I always do, reserved. Um, but take a look at the other ones. They did pretty well with the magnet. It's not very strong. It's going to give you a more subtle uh, look. But uh, it turned out okay. So I've got one coat of the um, China Glaze, the orange looking color, and that is the Muntastic color. So what I'm going to do now is take the Positively in Love, and I'm going to do one nail at a time. So I'm going to take a bit of polish and go over swiping it sideways. I'm going to take my Revlon and just get a bit, not, not much, because I don't want to flood it too much to where I can't draw the magnet. The, cup, the the magnetic polish through. So I'm just going to take the glitter polish and go over and side swipe that as well. Make sure I'm covering the positively in love. And this is the magnet, the flower end that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to position it on this edge here. I did find that these, like I said, these magnets are not very strong, so I'm having to place it in in the in the um, near the polish for about 20 seconds. Not as long as I have to do my neodymium magnet, but um, and of course, don't let the polish dry. This one didn't do it so pronounced, but it's okay. We're going to keep rolling. Maybe we'll get a better effect on the pinky nail. So let's do this. And uh, I was testing with my others. I had to go back on a couple of them and redo them. So I'm going to do an extra coat on this, on the Positively in Love. So let's go over that a little bit more. I think thick is better, especially with this one. 
Now when I get the glitter, I don't want to put as much. I want to overpower the magnetic polish. So let me just smooth that out. Okay. And I'm going to go on this end with the magnet. And that's a little bit better. You can see the little, I was trying to get that effect on the other nail. But uh, I'll try it again with the clear, when I put the clear top coat on there. So let me go ahead and close that up. I'm going to put the clear top coat on. And also seal it off with sesh feet. And I'll be right back with the finished result. I'm back. And I've got everything sealed off with sesh feet. And again, let me know what you think of this manicure. I may end up putting some studs. I don't know to give it a little bit more bling. You know me, I like it bedazzled. So, um, if like I said, if you're new to your, this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button to see no more videos that I do. And thank you so much for watching. And you guys be blessed.